everyone and thank you for tuning in. I think I'm a couple minutes late, which usually I'm a couple minutes early. But thank you for tuning in. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com, coming to you from New York. So if you could just leave me a comment, let me know that you're on. I know it's been about a week or so since I did a live, but I am back. So let's just see, waiting for some comments. In the meantime, grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. Not seeing any comments yet. There we go. Good morning, Stacy. Good morning, Patricia. Now I know I'm live. Good morning, Ginny. Okay, so here we go. Got a lot to cover in a short time today. So we are going to get started right away, okay? Again, Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Let me just change the camera here. Okay. If you'd like to place an order with me this month, use this host code. If your order is more than $150, don't use that because you want to get the hostess credit. Go to stampersdelight.com, place your order through me, or you can also join my awesome team. I need more coffee this morning. I'd love to have you on my team. I'd love to talk to you about the perks. Just give me a holler, an email, a call, whichever, okay? Good morning, everyone. Okay, so... First thing I want to show you real quick is a couple of things that I did not have at the oh, the uh, unveiling or unboxing of the pre-order. And these are these great little ombre bags in the new in colors. Okay, so these are great little bags to use for gifts, gift cards, gift certificates. So those are our ombre bags. I'm not going to spend a lot of time with it because I have a lot of things to go over. The other thing we have are these cute gift boxes. Look at that. Aren't they cute? With some scalloped edges. They, they're they going to be great for the holidays. And that just goes right back on there. The next thing we have are these cute little gold and white boxes. Look at that. Aren't they adorable? So those are going to be also available. I could see this hanging on a tree. Maybe a diamond ring in there for somebody or a little Christmas gift. Be fun to hang those around the tree and have the kids open one each day, sort of like an advent calendar. Okay, so we have those. The other thing that we have is our linen paper, specialty paper. I don't know if you can see that, but the great thing about this is it's got an adhesive backing. I'm not going to take that off, but it's got a sticky backing. So this will be great because you can use this through the um, embossing machine and cut things out. And I'm sure you can color it, and we'll be having some videos on that in the future. And last, but, oh, let's see, we got a couple more things. This is the Elegant Paper. Uh, don't, let's see, what's it actually called? Is, well, I don't know where that paper went. Oh, there it is. Specialty Paper, Simply Elegant Paper. And here's what we have. Okay, so it's two-sided. This is actually going to be part of my first um, online class when I start those back up in May. There'll be more information in the description. Don't forget, if you're watching this video on Facebook, leave me a comment. If you're watching it on YouTube, please give me a thumbs up. And on both, please share my videos. So that's that side. Gorgeous, gorgeous paper. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. And let's see what else we got here. This paper is, oh my gosh, I love it. So yes, this will be, um, I'm using the Simply Elegant for my first class. That's a bundle. And again, there's more information in the description, or there will be after I get done with my video. And last but not least, we have the new ombre specialty paper. So this is glitter paper or glimmer paper, however you want to use it, say it. And in this, you get four sheets. Look at these colors. Aren't they gorgeous? And this is also, put, this will be included uh, in my paper share, which is also in the description. So both specialty papers will be in my paper share. Just go to the description below when I'm done with the video and you'll see how to join the paper share. So those are some great new items. 
The other thing I want to share real quick is some nice little hello, thank you, and congratulations cards I got. This is from Yvonne. Yvonne, thank you so much for that. This is an uh, Easter. Okay, a little late to show you Easter. This is from Karen, one of my teammates. This is Cindy, another Easter card. A little late in showing them. This one is from Yvette. And this one is from Angie, and I know Angie's on right now. Thank you so much, Angie. Angie sent this to me from Australia. Thank you, Angie. And then this is another one from Yvette. Look at that nice glitter to it. Okay, well, thank you all for your cards and your kind words. And we are going to get started. So let me have a sip of my coffee. I am going to have to get up and grab some things because I haven't done a live in a while. I forgot to have some things with me. Okay, so we are going to be, I am going to be showing the Pansy Petal Suite today. So something old and something new. I can't show you the um, catalog. I can show you the stamp set. And in here are the dies. Let's flip that around. Look at all these gorgeous dies. I want to do it this way because I keep putting it too high to the camera. All these gorgeous dies. You're going to see me use most of these. So I'm going to leave those dies out so I can explain it a little bit. Okay. And then what I'm also going to be using is something that is retiring. And this is the Scripty embossing folder. And it's just got some writing in there. I absolutely, it's one of my favorites. Okay. As you can see, I had to tape it several times because I've used it so many times. And you can still order that. The first card I'm going to show you is, uh, I'm going to show you three different colors. So what I did was I layered white on white. I stamped our new Fresh Freesia with the Blackberry Bliss. And then the two new greens, the Succulent and the Evergreen. And then I just ran the designer, uh, the paper, the white cardstock through that scripty. Look at how gorgeous that comes out. Okay, and it's just a quick little hello card that I'm using. I got to bring my hand down here. And then, of course, there's a new gem in the in color. So just a quick, sweet, easy card. Then what I did, I used the same one with the fresh freesia. And right on top of that, I layered the new polished pink. And that's the colors that, how it came out. Isn't that great? So again, I used that embossing folder to just make some quick, cute cards. So if you're a beginner stamper, this is perfect. And here it is in the, in the I wanted to call it Grapefruit Grove, in the Pale Papaya the polished pink, and of course the evergreen and the succulent. Such quick, easy note cards, okay? So that was just with the stamps. The next one I'm gonna bring in, I actually used, I, I didn't stamp these, I cut these, this one, this one, all the embossed ones, can you see that? The ones that have embossing on them. These are the embossed ones. I just cut out cardstock and I hand, I stamped these. The background is stamped with, of course, these stamps. And the ones that are popped up are just with the embossed dies. And this is a little thank you card. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Angie. And then, of course, there's some of our Fresh Freesia ribbon. So let me bring that up real close so you can see the stamped image in the background and then the embossed images on top. Okay, so that's how I did that one. The next one I used, I stamped and then I cut them out. See, I'm, I'm trying to show you all these pieces. So I stamped these pieces and then I cut them out with these dies. And then, of course, there's our cute little bees. 
And let me just take a look at something because I just want to make sure. Yeah, those are the bees that are in the new catalog. And there's some of the, again, this gorgeous ribbon, new ribbon that we have in the succulent. The designer series paper is also from the Pansy Suite. And this is one side and that's another side. Okay, so let me bring that up again so you can see it. And I use the pale papaya and the lovely lipstick. And what I did was I just stamped off a couple times to get the lighter pink. Okay. It's your favorite bundle, Jean? Yeah, it's hard for me to pick. The next card, uh, before I show you the next card, because that's one we're gonna do, and I am on the early shift, so I gotta be careful with my time. Uh, hopefully you got a chance to watch my Sunday uh, Scrapbooking 101. If not, you can go back and watch that. I do those on Sunday. They are not live. They're pre-recorded. But what I did with the Pansy Suite is I made a two-page layout with my husband's Aunt Maggie 80th birthday party. So this was the first page. And here you can see I used those gold hoops that are retiring. Some of our ribbon some of our retiring gold glitter gems. And then here's the other side. And again, this is the Pansy Sweet Paper. And those are just opposite sides. I also want to mention that we these are from the hand-penned Memories and More cards. So you can mix and match and use those for your journaling. Okay? All right, so we are going to move that along. Okay, to show you the next card, which is actually the one we're going to do, that envelope goes over there. Of course, I'm also doing my envelopes. This is a, a fun, quick, uh, fun fold that I've done in the past. I did it with um, a Christmas, ca uh, Christmas card a while ago. I'll show you that in a minute. But here is, again, trying to use all the pieces so I can show you. Here's the Pansy Sweet designer series paper here is and let me show you this is the paper also there's this paper right here and let's see what's on the back of that the dots okay you can take the dies and cut those if you don't feel like stamping you can take the dies there's two dies that fit this okay Oop. that one goes there and this one goes here so you can cut these flowers out with these dies. And that's what I did for this one. And again, I used the embossed dies for the leaves. So I didn't stamp the leaves. I just cut them up out with those embossed dies. And I did a happy birthday. And of course, there's our new gems. And then it just opens like this. Quick, easy, fun fold. Okay, and then here's the matching envelope. All right, so let me show you how I did that. I am going to grab my embossing machine. I'm pretty sure I need that, which I normally have ready. Sorry about that. Let's just grab all this stuff that I need. And that's right over here. So let me grab what I need here. Okay. I think I have everything. Not even sure I need it, but I'm going to grab it. Okay, so I'm going to bring in this cardstock. So the first thing you need is a quarter sheet of cardstock. Actually, it's a little bigger. So we are going to bring in the... paper trimmer and make this the base. Okay, so it's actually bigger than that. Okay, so the size is four and a quarter, all right, by five and a half. Oh, there you go. By five and a quarter. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so I've got four and a quarter by five and a quarter. You can actually make that a little bigger if you want. Then I have a piece of white. I'll have the dimensions in the description, okay? Because I, I forgot to write these down today. This is three 
by four. You need another colored cardstock. This is the new polished pink. And you need a white one, three by four. Okay. And I will put the, the dimensions in later. This is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. Okay, please don't worry. I will put the, the sizes in, okay? <clears throat> then what I'm gonna do is I am going to take a piece of our designer series paper. Now, I'm not sure which one I wanna use for this one. I wanna use a different one than this. And I just want to measure something real quick because to me, maybe I haven't had enough coffee this morning. Yeah, this has to be, I apologize. That's the only one that wasn't right. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay. So let me cut that so I can show you what I mean. And I think these were cut for something else. So we are going to show you right here. That size. Okay, so I'm going to cut this at five and a half, just so you can see. This is the base, five and a half by four and a quarter. And again, please don't worry. I will put all the dis everything down for you. Okay. All right. So that's the base. So now I need a piece of designer series paper for this piece. Now remember, you want to make sure that it's going the right way. So let's see what piece I'm going to use for this. I've used several different ones. I think I'll use this one. Okay, so I want I want it folding this way. So let's see. We are going to cut it this way. And for this size, I am going to do it at four, uh, five and a quarter. Okay. So this is five and a quarter. That's five and a half. I am going to open this up. And I am going to go to eight inches. Thank you, Stacy. So I'm going to eight inches. Again, dimensions will be on it later. And look at that. I have another piece to use for something else. Then I'm going to bring this back in. And I'm going to score this at two inches. If, it's, if you don't like the way it looks, you can always uh, trim it up later. Make it a little smaller. Two and four inches. I am scoring. There we go. Boy, I take a week off from videos and I can't remember what I'm doing. Okay, so I am going to grab my bone folder. And where I scored, I am just going to fold that. Okay, so that's going to go this way. That's really it with the fold. Okay. Okay. This is going to go right here, and you see that you just have that little bit of trim on there. I'm going to go ahead, move this. I think I'm just going to stamp today, no cutting out, because of time's sake. Don't forget to share my videos, please. I will be doing this full-time come December, and I can't wait to see you all on Facebook and YouTube even more than I am now. Okay, so I'm just going to put this right here. There's my quick, easy, fun fold Z card. Now I'm going to bring in these smaller pieces. Remember, I said uh, this was three by four. That's going to layer right there. Hey, Marge. And then the smaller white is going to layer right on here. But what we're going to do first is we're going to stamp. So you see, I use the um, die cuts here, but I'm going to stamp today. So I am going to use my pink my polished pink and my new pale papaya. I'm gonna grab my mat if that's available to me here because I keep moving things around, there we go. And on this smaller piece, we are gonna do some stamping. I'm gonna grab the stamps that I need. So this is the more detailed one is the one you want dark. Okay, so I'm going to take the papaya. Although I love these colors. The Blackberry Bliss with the freesia is gorgeous. I'm just going to put one stamp right here. Then I'm going to go in with the polished pink and the more detailed one. Oh, got 
ink on my finger here. Let's do that again. Let's try to do it without. Okay, there we go. Then I'm gonna bring in the polished pink and I'm gonna go right back in there. Look at those colors. Aren't they gorgeous? I wanna add a little bit more, why not? I'm gonna take the fresh freesia and the blackberry because these colors just look so great together. Before I do that though, let me put my sentiment in there before I lose it. Okay, so I am going to add some color in here. <clears throat> I don't know, I'm playing. Remember, this is our on the fly card. I'm just gonna put the happy birthday right there. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna do a little cleaning real quick. So I'm changing this up a bit, and I haven't done this one. I don't even know how it's going to come out, but we like to do that in the morning, right? Okay, so I'm going to clean those two off. All right. I am going to grab the fresh freesia. Grab that there. Oop, I think I put that upside down. I did, but that's all right put that one upside down. I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a flower person. I mean, I love flowers, but I kill them. So if they're upside down, I apologize. It's just a background, so we don't care. Okay. So there's the fresh freesia and the blackberry bliss. Look at those colors. Okay. This one I have to do this way because I did it. Well, let's just turn it around here. Okay. Look at those colors. I'm going to go ahead and bring in the inside here and I'm going to use the pale papaya too early in the morning I guess look at this okay again I'm going to do that in here and then I'm going to bring in the smaller one I think I'll bring in this one with the pink I'm just layering these colors up. Look at this. How nice is that? I mean, look at that. Other than me getting my fingers in it. So that's what I have so far, right? Now I need some leaves. So let's grab some of these little leaves. You are absolutely going to love this suite. Let me close these up. your bundle's going to be there soon. Yes, if you would like to join my team, you can get these bundles quicker. Okay, I'm going to grab some green now. And let's see what leaves I want to use. I want to use this one, I think. And maybe, I don't know, let's see. You know what? I'm going to use this. Nah. Okay. Which one do we want to use here? How about this one? Okay. So I'm going to use the soft succulent and I am going to gently go in here so that you can still see this and put some, some stems there. Then I'm going to take the soft succulent again, but this time I'm going to stamp off and I'm just going to put some lit, very, very, I don't want a real dark leaf, so I'm just gonna put some leaves here. Very, I don't, I want it very subtle, okay? All right, so that's that one. Now I'm gonna bring in my die cutting machine. And I am going to cut something out here. Well, first I'm gonna emboss it, I think. Let's use that Scripty. Remember, this is Scripty, who's going away. I'm gonna put that right in the back here. This adds so much dimension to this. You're not gonna believe it. I mean, it looks nice that way, but it looks even better when you add this to it. So I'm just gonna sandwich that in. I'm gonna move it because it's on the table the wrong way. 
They look like old man faces. <laughs> old man faces. That's a great idea, actually. Okay, so we're going to bring that in. Then what we're going to do is we're going to layer that. So now it has this gorgeous little embossed edge. Okay, we are going to go ahead and... You can see I got a lot of ink on the back of my white. We don't care. That's why we have two sides. We're going to go ahead and do that. We are going to bring in some Winkastella. Let me grab the Winkastella because we like to add Winkastella to everything. So I'm going to start with the lighter ones. The darker colors when you add Winkastella do tend to bleed a little bit. So do the lighter colors first. Okay, just add a little to the stems. Again, this is just the background, so I'm not too concerned with it. So I add a little Wink of Stella. Now there are stamps that go right in the middle, but I don't wanna use those yet. What I'm gonna do next is I am going to put that right here. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and glue this down. I'm using my stamp and seal. I'm gonna put that right here. Don't forget to stay on till the end because I do have a giveaway. Then I have this other piece of white which is the same size as the pink. I'm gonna stamp that. This is a happy birthday because I always need birthday stamps and wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you. I'm going to go ahead and use our polished pink. I didn't grab my mat, but hopefully it comes out. Yes, it does. Okay. Now for this one, I'm not going to re-ink anything because I really don't want to have a mess here. So I'm just going to take these and see how they come out without being re-inked. That's kind of light but it works fine. Look at, I got a different color. Cool. And then let's see how this one works without being re-inked. Now that one doesn't work too well, so we'll re-ink that one with the pink. And then I'm gonna do this one. Ooh, let's do a little green. Stamp that off in a little green. Ah, why not? Look at that, just add some different colors. Play around with the colors. They're so much fun. Now. For this to make sure that it's on the inside right, this is just the way I do it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to put some adhesive on here, my stamp and seal, okay? And I line it up this way. If there's a quick fix to getting things straight, I'll do it. So just like that. And then I'm gonna fold it over. And guess what? It's right there, so it's hidden. Oh, thank you, Vicki. Vicki says I'm an inspiration, I hope so. Now, normally I would use some new gems, but I do wanna show you the ones that are going away, because these, I actually love these. These are our glitter gems, I, and they, they have th uh, four great sizes. That's what I really like. So I'm gonna put the next to the largest in here, because I really want these instead of the stamp. I'm just gonna throw that in there. And then I'm just gonna add some more right on top here. And maybe two more right here. Come on, this one doesn't wanna move. There we go. There we go. And of course I would um, stamp my envelope. I'm running out of time and I do want to do the giveaway. So again, there's two variations of the same card. This is cutting out the designer series paper and the embossed leaves. This is just stamping, not just stamping. And then of course, what's nice about it is we have that designer series paper on the back side. So this is a quick, easy fun fold for you. Real quick, I'm going to bring in my other cards, and I will have still shots later today. There's the cute little, I'll probably throw a little bumblebee on there later. This is using the embossed folders, uh, the embossed uh, dies. 
And then of course we have the three different colors of the same card. I think I put some of my pansies upside down, but that's okay. If you're a flower person and you're offended by that, I'm sorry. <laughs> so again, we have all these cards, great cards with this suite. Check out this suite when it's available. I think you're gonna love it. I know I did. And then of course I have my scrapbook pages, which you can go back and watch that video on how I did the scrapbook pages. Don't forget the scripty. I will put that in the uh, description also because that is going away. Okay, so I'm gonna flip the camera real quick. Thank you all for tuning in. Today, my giveaway, I have again from um, our friend Stacy P. Sorry, I needed some coffee. Um, she gave me some rare stamps that were retired years ago. This is from 20, uh, two, 2000, 2000. Wow. So they're kind of, they're kind of neat cause you can't get these anywhere anymore. Um, I'm going to give away framed fun. All right. It is wood mounted. You don't have to use the wood mounts. You can use our cling sheets and make it into a cling stamp. All you have to do is guess a number, 1 through 25, and the first one that guesses the number that's on the back, I got ink on my finger again. <laughs> I am so messy today. Let me just wipe that off. Okay, so guess a number between 1 and 25. I will send you this stamp set. Okay, 1 to 25. Anybody that wants the framed fun, I'll tell you which one I really like. I love this frame, and I love the thanks so much on that stamp set. Okay, so let's see who wants it. One through 25. Okay, I'm watching. Don't forget to share my videos and also give me a thumbs up if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're watching it on YouTube. Okay, stop. Stop. Hold on. I got to see if I can. Pat Miller. Pat Miller was the first one that guessed number 14. Pat, I will be sending you this. Pat, I don't need your address. You are one of my team members. Congratulations on your winning. Thank you so much again for tuning in. And I hope to see you back here Monday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for my YouTube Live. Don't forget to check out my video on Sunday, Scrapbooking 101. I will be using the new color and contour. So again, thank you for tuning in. Keep on stamping, stampers, and have a great weekend. Bye.